All right, guys, what's going on? Um, just, I, I was a little bit rushed, so I couldn't actually uh, video. Plus, I'm doing this by myself, so I couldn't actually video the process, and I didn't have somebody else here to uh, to help me video the process. But basically, I'm bleeding a uh, the clutch system on this is a 90, I think it's a 94 um, Suzuki Intruder, and it doesn't have the uh, the cable clutch uh, system. It's got the the hydraulic clutch system, so. What you basically need to do, like, because I, I had to, I rebuilt the uh, the master cylinder and I rebuilt the slave cylinder before, but both times I did this, I had to, um, I had to go through what I'm about to talk about now. It's a little hard to, to bleed this system because of the way that the master cylinder is. It only it only puts a little bit of fluid in the lines at a time, so you can't really, uh, you can't, you, you have to basically add fluid to a dry system. So one of the ways you can do that, which you see here, I have this little syringe. I'm not a druggie. I have this syringe. I bought it on eBay. It was it was it was dirt cheap. Um, I had to fix the end of it already because the the plastic messed up. But uh, I just basically put a hose on it, and you're only going to really use about maybe 20 milliliters. So you don't really need one that's too large because uh, these these systems don't really take a lot of fluid. But what you want to do is you take off this bleed screw on the slave side which is the lower um, the lower end not the one that you move with your hand or with your foot if, you, if you're bleeding a, a foot system um, but you want to take the bleed screw off and put grease around the threads the reason you do that is so that the brake fluid won't ooze out from around the threads if you don't want to do that which I, I didn't actually do that when I did this I, I, I didn't have any grease with me um, I just actually put pressure on the threads while I was putting fluid in, but you basically want to put fluid in the lines from the lowest part in the system. So you're filling up the system through the lines and everywhere it goes, all the way up to here on the handlebars. So the first thing I did was I loosened this, um, this, band, this is called a banjo bolt. So I loosened the banjo bolt, and as I was pushing the fluid up uh, with the syringe, just slowly, um, you want to make sure you don't get any air on the line, so you'll basically, uh, I, I cleaned it out really good first, and I cleaned it out. Um, after with water, it's brake fluids, water soluble. Um, so what you'll want to do is, you know, get the fluid in here, slip it over the bleed screw, the end of the bleed screw, and then while you're putting the fluid in, you watch up here on this banjo bolt until you see fluid coming out and there's no more air bubbles. And when you do that, you turn that with your hand on the um, on this side, on the bleed screw. So you'll close the bleed screw with your hand, or if you have something to close, if you have a wrench around it, you would have to have that around it before you have the hose on, obviously. And then you'll close it. You'll come back up here and then close this. And then you'll want to have this uh, this cover off. Um, and then you basically open the bleed screw back and keep filling up the fluid until you see, uh, you'll see fluid coming out of the reservoir. Um, and then whenever you see that, you close up the system and you should feel a little bit of pressure the very first time you do this um, after you close up the system and then when you do that you can go back to just bleeding it like normal and uh, now this this works fine um, I can't start it right now because I've got to just got to charge it but you see like when I pull it in that's when I start to feel pressure so I can pull it in like normal start to feel pressure there and then all the way in so that's basically how you bleed a system that's completely dry on some um, on some vehicles, you can kind of gravity bleed it, which uh, you just pour fluid, or some motorcycles too, you, you pour fluid in the reservoir and then the lines fill up and um, you just kind of drain it out. Lines are full and then you can apply pressure. My car is like that, which is, it's just super easy. I, I love that it's like that. I changed up my slave cylinder and I just had to add fluid, pump it a few times and I didn't even have to bleed the system on, the, on my car. So not all systems are that easy. Some of them are like this, and some of them you have to do it. The ones where the lines go all over the place, like you see this this line goes up and back, and then it goes up around the gas tank, and it goes up. Uh, it's, it is going to be harder. So, but yeah, that is uh, that's that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna do this one. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You just need the syringe. They're really cheap on eBay, but if, the cheaper ones you buy, the you know the lower the lifespan is. So get that. Get a little hose. This hose isn't rated for brake fluid, but it works fine. Um, and you do want to, if you're using stuff that's not rated for brake fluid, you want to wash it out really good. Uh, if you don't wash it out really good, this rubber seal inside starts to deteriorate and you're going to have to buy a new one. So you can, uh, after you're finished with it, take it out, 
wash it really well, get all that brake fluid off, and then, uh, yeah, um, they do make kits that replace what I'm doing, um, so you can basically fill it up from the bottom. Um, but if you don't have access to something like that, or you want to be cheap like me, those kits actually don't cost that much. But if you have something like this lying around, you want to do it this way, um, yeah. But otherwise, just look up, I forget exactly what it's called, but if you look up a brake bleed, uh, brake bleed kit, you should see something similar to to this a syringe some kind of a pump that you would apply pressure from the bottom and fill up the lines from the bottom so you don't get any air in it that way considering there is no air air bubbles in your syringe so um, thanks for watching um, I hope this video was informative if it was give it a like uh, subscribe if you want check out the other videos I've got other uh, other interesting stuff and and or not another or not blah, blah, blah unorthodox ways to do things that does get the job done um, with cheap materials and uh, doesn't harm anything so thanks for watching subscribe favorite like all that cool YouTube-esque stuff anyway, thanks